by Baby Bear. Uh, and I was like, you know what? I haven't played Spell Mage in a while. It was the first deck I tried when the expansion dropped, and I'm excited to try to play it again. Uh, hopefully everybody's having a good time. Hopefully everybody's having a good one. I'm going to... I'll adjust the thumbnail eventually. Do I only have one, um, Sunset Volley? Really? Interesting. I do like the Firelands portal. I, I don't know. I think the deck's pretty solid. I think that deck's pretty solid. We want to try to find... So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are no nines, but I don't think there are any nines in general. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, enable that. And we're good to go. The possibilities are endless. I don't actually know if they can outpace me or if they can out armor me because I can get a second sunset volley, but I might just not have enough damage. Also, can I just say these are the like two of the best cards to have my opening hand and it's still a very much losing matchup. Oh no, what a disaster. Not great. Um, so turn... Yeah. I wanna... Mm, I'll play that, see what we get. All these kind of suck, although I will say this for a big board could be huge. This to kill off a minion could also be big though. This to kill off a minion. I guess I do this and then I can ping it or worst case scenario, I can trade it. I don't want to play Void Scripture right now. I just don't think it's very good. I would like to coin this out, though. Oh, man. Um, I like Counterspell. When it's your turn, summon a cost. No, it's kind of useless. Counterspell could actually be pretty good, though. We don't need to play it right away. We want to play this on four. All right, so I'm already figuring out that this deck has a very awkward turn three. And if possible, I would love to mitigate that. I would love to mitigate the bad turn three play. Somehow. I don't know exactly what I would do to change it. But we'll figure something out because right now turn three, very, very awkward. Uh, we're going to play this. We'll get a three cost minion and then we'll get another three cost minion, which is pretty good. We'll coin this out and we'll be in an okay spot. I just don't know if I'm able to outvalue them. But hey, Shrek, how's it going? Hello, the the Flash. I don't know how to say your name. It's It looks like the Flash, but it's spelled weird. Boom, just a decent taunt minion, I guess. Not very aggressive. And then, I mean, a 5-6 is not the worst thing in the world. Maybe we can connect for a decent amount of damage. Yeah, I think it's okay. The problem is, it could be like... If, if it loses HP and then they just blade storm and kill them both for free, that would suck. So maybe I go this just because I think it makes it a little bit less likely that it dies. But draw some cards. They cost less. Hopefully we're able to get something pretty good. I think this deck is worse than Sif Mage, but maybe it's good against, um, maybe it's better against the Demon Hunter deck, right? Maybe, maybe, maybe that's the win rate or the matchup that it, that it's uh, looking for. I don't know, because I think Rainbow Mage is just really good. Hey, how's it going, Lethal? What if I they give mage weapons similar to Demon Hunter, which converts minions to spells in the deck? Wait, what do you mean? Convert. Oh, that's what you mean. Okay, my bad. I was like, what the heck are you talking about? Thank you so much for the follow. Or Oh, hydrate. I got you. Don't worry about it. Bada bing, bada boom. Cheers, mate. Also, first, let's draw some cards. Not bad. This card's going to be kind of sick. Cool. Alrighty. Who knows? Maybe, maybe I've got enough damage. Oh God. Okay. You know, this card right here is like the only reason why I wish objection still existed in the game. Just because of brand. Honestly, I hate objection with a burning passion, but like if it meant I could object to this card, We'll go kind of crazy. Let's see what minion I get first. Awesome. Okay. So that's not looking too good. 
That's looking pretty bad, actually. God, that sucked. Um, <laughs> Frostbolt his face, I guess, and then keep pushing face damage. I don't know if we have the uh, the ability to actually finish him off, but hopefully with this being forged, this drawing me some good cards, maybe we're able to push, but there are so many six drops in the game. For me to low roll and get a 3-3 three, three is kind of lame. Yeah, okay. Oh, wow, it doesn't die. That's crazy. Okay. Well, I don't think I mind that too much. It's just a 4-3 at the end of the day. Uh, draw several cards here, see if we get anything remotely good. This will be one mana, which is nice. This is too much, though. How much burst damage do I have? 6, 12, 18. That is surprisingly not that much. I was I was expecting that to be more. I might just play Yogg in the box next turn. Ugh. Okay, they're gaining armor, so it's impossible for me to burst them. That makes sense. Slay them, sure. Oh, God. <laughs> We're getting kind of run over. It feels good throwing down Zilliax that doubles health on turn two. Or, do you mean doubles attack? Doesn't it double attack? But, oh, that card's so annoying. <laughs> I don't really need to kill this right now. Let's see what six drop I get this time. Now, hold on. Hold on. This one might not suck, actually. This one might be decent, filling my board with four drops. That one might not be bad. It's not great, but you know what? I was hoping for a taunt. I take it back. I got a taunt mini and it's, it's fantastic. Uh, and then we'll pass. All right. Okay. So no Reno. No Reno. Everybody say it with me. No Reno. Well, fuck. <laughs> oh, well, we tried our best. It's fine. I don't know if I want to necessarily play Yogg in a box right now. I could just generate some spells with this and see what happens. Oh, I almost targeted myself. Which could be good. I could also play that. Let's let's see what spells we get off of this first. Could be nice. Okay. Useless. Wow. Copy a minion that I literally am not allowed to play in my deck. That's awesome. Uh... Did I have lethal with this? No, I don't think I had lethal. There's no way I had lethal with this. I would have done 12 damage. Yeah, that wasn't lethal. If I had played Sunspot or Sunset Volley, I could have, but I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. I hate this game. Why did I do that? Well, I mean, Rewind's still good. It's just... Rewind's still good. I just, I should have traded that away. My hand was full. My hand was full. I mean, stargazing I couldn't have played because it would have overdrawn me multiple cards. What was my other option uh, other than rewind? Oh, imagine that was fucking explosive runes. Oh, he takes five damage and he, oh, that would have been so good. All right, we play Yogg in a box and we hope for the best, I think. Um, I think that's the best I've got. <sighs> how, how likely is it that I die next turn? This doesn't really do much. I have to play Yogg in the box. Womp womp, let's see what happens. Oh, that's a little bit gross. Uh, oh, that's so bad. That's not bad. Whoa! 
Why would you shuffle that into my deck? His deck? Oh my god. No. You're kidding. I lost. I will say though, this deck is surprising. I... Am I just dead? I think I'm just dead. I think it's just GG. I needed to get Ice Barrier instead of Counter Spell. I mean, this could be game. If I don't die this turn, I could still play the Galactic and win, I guess. And then rewind to get it again. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, goodness gracious. Still no Sunset Volley, though. I would have loved to have gotten it, but unfortunately, I didn't. I would have loved to have gotten it earlier. That's the thing that I don't know about running one copy. I feel like taking... So I understand why Baby Bear put Blizzard in over the other Sunset Volley, because Blizzard is better in, in a lot of situations. But the Sunset Volley, if I'm able to draw that for reduced cost off of manufacturing error, would have been crazy. Wait, do I just die to fatigue? I am out of Wait, I'm just dead to fatigue. Maybe I can just make it a tie. Fuck it, we send it. We're dead. <laughs> oh, I hate this game so much, man. Oh, and I guess it does go in order. So it doesn't even necessarily... Oh, man. Oh, hold on. It might be a tie. I wonder if I die first or if it keeps going. This was, this was an experiment for science. Can we get the tie? Hold on, we might get the tie here. It's possible. No, 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 no! Let me hit him! Oh my gosh, it's a tie. Ah! Honestly, that's worth. Honestly, that's a good game. Neither of us get to win. Neither of us, neither of us get the... <laughs> oh, I haven't seen a tie in so long. I haven't seen one of these in so long. It used to say defeat. Oh my gosh. The, the ranks didn't change. <laughs> Hello, I'm your YouTube fan. Hello, man, how's it going? I have not seen the nerf, no. When is the nerf going live? Celeste versus Garrosh. The one that was 11 minutes ago? Wait. The possibilities are endless. Am I dumb? What nerf are we talking about? I see a lot of battleground stuff. Oh. At the very bottom of the battlegrounds update, I didn't scroll all the way down. Here's the nerf. They they're making this a four mana card, which is honestly really nice. Slowing it down is really important. Uh I do really like this card. Um I don't really like any of the other ones, but this could be annoying for them to deal with. I can't believe we actually got a tie. That's awesome. That's incredible. I didn't play the game particularly well. I don't really know how to play the deck yet. But my goodness gracious. Yeah, we'll just pass. Oh, I wish I hadn't played that game so badly though. I don't think it really mattered. Maybe I wasn't supposed to play my other draw spell. 
if I hadn't played Wisdom, I think I would have literally just won the game, is the thing. Oh, do I have to, do I really have to? I'll kill it next turn and get two spells. Oh, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Also, there was a chance that I didn't get draw and I got Blizzard instead off of the Galactic Project, which would have also been very good. But yeah, they're they're already gaining too much armor. I don't really know how I'm supposed to deal with this. This was this was a horrible choice. I was I was thinking maybe I'd get a rush minion, but this was just this was just stupid. I completely threw the game. There's there's no winning that at, at that point. I've already thrown. I should have just killed them. That was the most important thing, and I didn't do it. No flame geyser, no frost bolt, and I didn't want to commit six damage to killing it. Because I need every single bit of damage that I can get in that matchup, and I just lost it. Hey, Oscar, how's it going? What do you mean it's impossible? It's literally not impossible with this deck. I just messed up. Um, hmm. into this matchup, I feel like none of these cards are keepable. None of these cards are, oh, apparently this card's pretty good when kept. Fine, you know what, I'll go with the stats. I don't think I'm supposed to keep Molten Rune, but I'll keep it. I can Frostbolt their face on like turn three or something to delay them, I guess. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's something. Manufacturing error on six is pretty good. Uh, I wanna hold on to this. Maybe kill off a minion or something. Challenge accepted, spell mage, yep. Spell mage is uh, interesting. Spell mage is interesting. The um, the big card. I'm I'm still I'm just happy I got a tie. That's content, baby. That's what you like to see as a content creator. I don't know why I said creator like that. I apologize. Um. Do I want to do this and then play a 1-2, or do I want to just Frostbolt? No, I need to say Frostbolt. Do I want to Forge and take two damage? No, HP is going to matter a lot in this matchup. We're not really allowed to just, like, take damage for free. Whenever, we ha whenever we're able to avoid damage, we have to just avoid it, even though I don't really want to. I would rather set up for better cards later, but I just don't think that we're going to have the luxury of being able to do that. But yeah, the weapon nerf is going to be super good. Making it a four mana weapon. I think that Demon Hunter is still going to be somewhat strong, but oh my gosh, is it gonna kill the class. Like, that one nerf is going to slow down all of their tempo. And yeah, it's gonna slow down like all of their tempo. Because the thing was, being able to play that weapon on turn three basically, no way you coin it. Like, fuck this, man. Uh, Even if I freeze them, it doesn't matter. It doesn't slow them down at all. I guess it means they can't play one card, but like... I mean, it delays them a turn. It's not man efficient and I don't like doing it, but it's good. The problem is they just hit next turn and it's the same exact play they were going to make, right? It's just the same exact play they were going to make if they didn't play the coin, which is playing the three drop and the one drop on the same turn, which is just so frustrating. Like, oh my goodness. The, the nerf that they said for this, it's coming out on the 16th. I, it cannot come soon enough. I don't want to deal with this card anymore. <laughs> I'm going to do this before I play this. Um... Hidden Objects isn't bad, actually. I would say Hidden Objects is pretty good. Do I get to discover it, or does it just randomly give me one? I assume it just randomly gives me one. But we'll see. I'm assuming it just, yeah. Ice Barrier is one of the better ones, though. 
The problem with playing this is my Theradon exists. So like, I play this, then he plays the 6-5 and the 1. I summon some minions, I'm like, oh yay, and then he just plays Mag Theradon and my whole board gets wiped. I think I just forge that and I get ready to uh, kill his 6-5 next turn because he hits, plays the 6-5, I kill the 6-5, but I'm still taking five damage this turn regardless of what I do, which is insane to me. God. Have the nerfs been announced? It's just one nerf, and it's to this. Wait, why didn't he play the demon? What the fuck are you doing? You play the demon here, hello? Do you realize how much pressure you just gave up by not playing a 6-5? Oh my god! This person's awful in, in the nicest way. What the hell? That was, that was really bad. Like this game was basically unlosable for them and they just said, you know what? You know what would be funny? If we just lost. This lowers damage by two and then as soon as I play this on turn six, I don't know, I play this, see what we get first. I do want to kill that. Fracking's not good, but it's not the worst thing. I've got one mana left. Technically should have frackinged first, but it doesn't really matter. Um, interesting. Infinitize is good, but Void Scripture is more immediate value, and I don't need infinite value in this matchup. I need more immediate value, but Infinitize the Maxitude is just too good to pass up, I think. It's just... The value that you can get from it is nuts. I don't know. I... Because even if I just get one extra spell from it, it's pretty worth, but... It's during times like this where I miss objection while gagging a little at the thought. No, yeah, I was just saying because of Bran and this card, I miss objection. Awesome, dude. Oh, that's so sick. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, and you're also going to get two secrets that stop me from playing the game. Oh, that's incredible, dude. No, it's sick. I probably just die here is the thing. So like... It's not fun. It's not fun. The void scripture didn't really matter in the end, I guess, but... Uh, playing this on two is pretty good, I would say. The other two cards are kind of bad. These cards are really good, don't get me wrong. The only issue is the fact that they're so slow. Slow might be- yeah, they're so slow. I was gonna say slow might be the wrong term, because it is nine mana cheap. But I do still have to wait until turn six to play it, which can be a little bit slow. Into some matchups. I do like Frostbolts. Uh, do I want to play this? No, I'd rather save it to maybe kill something off. Comes to show how unbalanced it is. He played the worst possible way and still won because of how unbalanced Demon Hunter is. Exactly. No, yeah, he played literally as badly as he could have. And it didn't matter. It just didn't. Which, you know, it happens, right? Like, sometimes the better player doesn't win. Uh, I'm gonna forge and then flame geyser the three two. I don't love this by the way. In fact, this kind of pains me because it just summons a one one. But this is fun. I'll play this next turn along with the flame elemental and then hopefully draw. Well, actually no, if I draw spot the difference off the top, that would also be very good. That would probably be the best case scenario. 
But no, yeah, he. I don't. I don't understand what that person did in that last game. They literally played as badly as they could have, and they just won. I mean, I'm not saying I played perfectly either. I got tilted and kind of just threw some cards down on the final turn. That's a great top deck. My goodness gracious. Um, Acolyte of Pain to draw cards is potentially punishing, but also potentially very good. Uh, I like Rush. Since I already have Acolyte of Pain to now draw me cards, I think more card draws redundant. So I think I'd rather just go with Rush and kill this off so they can't shadow step it or anything. Even though I really want to take that. I do think that the Rush is just better. And then we get a four, which is nice. Not bad. This is not bad. But it was, I don't know. Oh, no! Not my flame elemental! You dick! <laughs> you monster! What have you done? You doomed us all! Double coin? Maybe even a triple coin for Rust Rot Viper? Oh. Fair enough. I hate the state of mage right now. Like, your best chance to win is playing elementals. I significantly disagree. I think Sif Rainbow Mage is critically underrated, and I went like, aw, man. And I went like nine and two with it the other day. <laughs> it was very good. Well, it doesn't really matter how I trade now. Does not really matter how I trade now. We'll just go Molten Rune to kill this off, generate some cards, see what we get. Yes, technically Fireball would give us a better card. Wait, what the hell are you? Uh, that's, uh, that's pretty cool, actually. I didn't even, I didn't even know that card was in standard. What the fuck? I'll just draw one. See what I get? I got Discovery Magic, which isn't bad. I could play that and Flame Geyser. I could play this and just set up. I can freeze their face, so it's harder for them to draw cards. Hmm, having two mana is awkward here, but I think I'll just discover a secret and probably, ooh. Actually, no, Explosive Runes is very, very good. Because on the turn where they want to play the uh, Scorpion, if I play this, it means they can't Shadow Set the Scorpion unless, you know, they play around it in some way, which is possible. Wait, what? Sure, actually, fair enough, okay. But I think Sif Mage is actually, like, way better than I thought it was going to be. So far, I've played a Fire Spell. Okay, sick. Let's play this and see if we can discover a... Spot the difference. Unfortunately, no. But I think I'm down to just take Ice Barrier here. I mean, they know what it is, which kind of sucks, but, like, I don't think I care. I'm just trying to be mana efficient here. Wait, this is a new 7 mana card. This might mess up Firelands Portal. By the way, thank you so much for the um, sub and or follow. I don't know which one that was. I'll look at the stream in a second because there's a bit of a delay. Where do you get your haircut? I haven't gotten my haircut recently, but, like, great clips. It's nothing fancy by any means. <laughs> Ready for another round. You're bouncing this back to your hand? Oh wow, they must have like nothing. That's it's so demoralizing if I were them. I'd be like, man, this sucks. How much damage do I have right now? Three, six, eight. Not quite enough to win, but almost enough to set this up, to be honest. And get four minions back. Resurrect four friendly minions. I mean, it's not a bad play necessarily if I can get it to set up One two um, Let's play the frost first so that way this is more likely to find me something good uh, Useless useless Also not great but like acceptable I guess So I'll take nature because it could be good on the bright side. And then I just want to level this up. 
And then we'll freeze his face. I'm fine taking three damage. It's another ice barrier, so it heals me up. I just want to play this, man. I just want to summon multiple minions. I mean, they're all going to suck. It's probably not even going to be worth seven mana, but you know what? Who cares? It'll be fun. Does the barber ask if they can touch you before giving you the haircut in exchange for- What are you- what in the world? No, they don't ask that. I personally think Window Shopper is one of the only real powered problems among the whole possible deck of Demon Hunter. What do I get? Give me something beautiful. Oh, sick. <laughs> um, they haven't excavated like at all, so I think it's probably better to just draw cards here. Technically should have drawn fur. Actually, no, I shouldn't have because that was a holy spell and that gave me made it cheaper. I did that on purpose. Oh shit, I shouldn't have done that because I might overdraw now, but it doesn't matter too much. Oh shit. Window Shopper isn't a good standalone card. It definitely is still decent on its own. I mean, it's not perfect, don't get me wrong. But like, it's decent. Um, sure. Oh shit. Uh-oh. That's not very good at all. I mean, yeah, he's overloaded, but uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Do you give me Blizzard? Sick. All right, we're chilling. Let's see what we get off of you. Get a copy of the last card your opponent played. Uh, Raid Leader has- I have a minion on board. It's not the worst thing in the world. I would rather do that. Hmm, <laughs> so. Potentially sick, but again, I've already drawn a decent number of cards, and I already have a good hand. And I already have a plan to draw even more cards in the future, so I'm just gonna go with the, um... No, I'll go with you. We could have played Infinitize the Maxitude there, but I'm just trying to push some damage. I'm trying to close the game out soon. He's going to hit a point of critical mass at some point. Demon Hunter weapons now 4 mana? Yeah, I, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. It's absolutely a good standalone card. I mean, it is a good standalone card, but like because of the power creep of Hearthstone, like... A lot of the, like what rogue can do on turn five or six is they can summon three eight eight giants if not more and break dance it and all that jazz uh so the fact that a demon hunter's turn five would in theory just be summoning a six five it's not that good um it's good don't get me wrong it definitely is solid but it's not as strong as you would think how much damage can I do here? Do I just win? I think this is lethal. This is six, nine. How no, it's not lethal. Flexing. Actually not lethal, that's crazy. Well, we'll get close to lethal then, it's fine. Oh, the tools of creation. So that was six, nine, plus these, cause this would have to go here. It's only 13, 14 damage. I was off by three. Give me a damage spell or something. Ah. Sure, why not? We'll be able to win next turn now. We should be able to anyway. Could have made it a two, three weapon instead. I did see some people talk about a nerf like that, and I don't know if I hated it or if I liked it. Ooh, okay. Crash of Thunder's fine. I will overdraw one, unfortunately. Okay. Um. That's crazy. 
That literally killed him, right? Because this is... Boom, plus boom, plus boom. That's crazy. If it gave him armor, he had a 50% chance to just, like, absolutely bamboozle the fuck out of me. Oh, I need to plug my phone in. I forgot. I don't charge it overnight because I use it as my alarm. And my charger's in here. But then I, re I remember, like, halfway through the day, oh, shoot, my phone's got, like, 20%. Uh, do I want to just play Discovery of Magic, even though I already, I haven't played any spell schools? I mean, it's a decent turn one play. It gives me resources that I can just dump. I don't mind it at all. This turn one, this turn two, something else, and then this turn three or something. It's not bad. Okay, let's see what we get here. Discover card from your deck. Do you spell damage? No. Drawing a card's not bad, though. I do kind of like being able to draw a card, and it's a three drop, which curves out nicely in this. Actually, no, this gives me a one drop. Technically, this is also good, but you get the point. It's, it's, it's still a decent curve. And, um... I think the nerf to the Demon Hunter weapon is reasonable, apart from the fact that Demon Hunter doesn't need a nerf. I strongly disagree with that statement. Demon Hunter is the best class. I'll take... Ooh, I want to take Rewind because the value could be there, but I think I'll just take Fireball for more direct damage. Thank you so much for the follow. Asdrub. I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. Definitely does need a nerf. I mean, you just go to HS Replay and you look at the win rates and it's at like 58% almost. Way above everything else in the game. It 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 needed a nerf, for sure. Um Resource generation, kill that off, it's not bad. Ah uh, Kill off both, so they just, you know don't have that much of a board going into the next turn. It was a free card. It doesn't really matter too much to me at all. But, I mean, Demon Hunter definitely needed a nerf. You have ah, jeez. Not this. M oh, my God. Not this again. These both die, though, so I actually have some. Oh, it's actually a very, very good card to get. Thank you very much for that top deck. Um, this is the best stats. I don't really have, I don't really want Luna because my hand is already kind of full. And I mean, I guess I could play this. Now, if he just trades Helia into the 3-3 and I get a Helia, that would be pretty cool. Thanks so much for the follow to Alternative. Alternative, I can't read that whole name in like three seconds. I apologize again. <laughs> No! He's gonna give me an ETC and it's gonna be useless. Ugh. It's fine. I'll deal with it. I need to empty my hand a little bit, possibly by playing some of these ones. <laughs> Do I ever play a fireball to kill this off? No. This, my hand will still be pretty full. Much to ponder. See what we get. I technically could have done that first, but... Ah, uh, Shadow's not bad. Nature and Arcane. I guess this might be better. So I don't think I need healing. I'll just take that and then I'll go Infinitize. I will take Yogg in a box. Yes, sir. I will take this immediately. I will play it on turn seven. Happily. Happily, I will play it. 
At all ranks, sure. Hunter was way up for a while, and that deck most definitely does not need a nerf. I mean, Hunter's still the second best class, and in Diamond through Legend, has the second highest win rate deck overall pretty handily. I mean, I don't know if I would say Hunter needs a nerf. I would be okay if it did get nerfed once or twice, but I don't think it needs one. But, like, Demon Hunter 100% needed a nerf. I, maybe you meant to say Hunter instead of Demon Hunter the first time, or maybe I misread it. So, I mean, like, that, that could be on me. Uh, let's try to get, like, Ice Barrier or something. That's not anything. Okay. Uh, this is useless. This is maybe okay. What minion could they summon... This is okay. This is also potentially okay to get value from them. I'll take that actually. They probably won't expect it. I didn't want to draw cards because if I play this next turn, it's likely to draw me cards. I don't know. I don't know if Azurite Vane was correct. I thought maybe like they'll get excited because they top decked something and it just gives me a free resource, but I don't know. The other ones weren't very good either because they don't really rely on minions as much. And several of the minions they have have like death rattles or battle cries or whatever. Did he just top deck that? No, he didn't. Oh, I don't get it from the Azerite. No, it's okay though. Not my one, two. I'm not gonna play this. My hand is a bit full right now. I'm just gonna go with a portal of him first. Uh, yes, please. That's huge. That's a big heal. Is it fair to look at all ranks though? I'm not looking at all ranks. If you go to meta and you look at diamond through legend, it is by far the best deck in the game at the highest ranks. Top 1000 legend, it's the third best deck behind two combo decks, which historically do very well at high legend because they're higher skill cap. But even at the highest of legends, I don't know why I did that. Even at the highest legend, it's still the third highest winner in the game because it's so simple. Like, there's nothing else to really say about it. It's just, it's just too strong. And it's mostly because of the weapon and the, um, the one card. It just is. Like, there's no real arguing it. Uh, let me think here. Do I want to play this now? I was trying to empty my hand a little bit. What are the odds that this Much kills me ponder. and plays like the Wheel of Death? You know what? Oh no, it kills my board. No! Actually, that's not bad. I can trade these into that. It's not the worst. I should have hit with my one, two, but it also could have pumped my one, twos, to be fair. Oh. What the fuck? What do you do? No! Wait. What the? Oh my gosh. I don't know if that was good or bad, honestly. I don't think that was great. But. Oh gosh. <laughs> no! Not Frostmore. Oh my gosh, you're just going face. There are a couple of top decks that could save me. So I'll, I'll hold it out, I guess. Great harvest, eh,
All right. I do need to kill this. Do I need to kill that? Or can I just play this and draw a bunch of cards and try to hold out for next turn? Fuck it, we'll do this. Oh, those cards were awful. Those cards were horrendous. Well. I'm live with two. I could have killed the 2-8, but... No, I should have killed the 2-8. I don't know. Like, the only way I win here is if I try to high roll. Pulls out ETC. Sure. Okay. Oh, he's gonna go for the explosion, I think, the next turn and just kill me. Most likely I lose, but there's a chance this still saves me. So we're gonna run it. We're gonna throw it out there. We're gonna hope for the best. No. Womp womp. I definitely don't think it's a one-sided argument. I understand the reasoning. I think it is a very one-sided argument. I don't think there's any argument to not nerf it. The value that you get from it on turn four is absolutely insane. If you get it on curve, it has like one of the, if not the highest win rate, like mulligan win rates in the game. <laughs> It's absurd. Hold on. Like mulligan win rate in legend, the highest level. It is by far the highest mulligan win rate card in the entire game. Not to mention the fact that instrument tech also has a very high win rate. And that's because you use it on turn two to draw this. It is the best card in the game bar none. And it is the reason why demon hunter is absurd. Uh, let's see. I'll get rid of everything. None of these guys are really keepable. But yeah, I don't think the nerf to the umpire's grasp is an even, like, debatable debate. Um, it is, it is a very one-sided argument. Like, it needs to be nerfed. Like I just said, it's, it's, it's the highest mulligan win rate card in the entire game. The class is the highest win rate class in the entire game. The deck's win rate in Legend is the highest win rate deck in the game, and it's not even close. Like, it just it just needs to be nerfed. Like, that's it. Uh, do I want to play Counterspell versus this? They've got the coin, which is not ideal. I'll go Explosive Runes. I feel like Explosive Runes is probably more annoying to deal with. Are you saying, like, I don't think that Demon Hunter is very strong and it ne doesn't need to get nerfed? Like, I don't, I don't even understand that argument. Because maybe you come from, like, Arena, but it's also, like, one of the best Arena de cards, at least, in the game. I don't know a lot about the Arena win rates, but in terms of how good that card is, that card is very, very good. And in Arena, Demon Hunter actually is also the highest win rate class in the game, probably because of things like the Wolf and the 6-5 that miniaturize summons more things and the weapon. There's something wrong inherently with the Magtheridon deck running Magther- or not running Magtheridon. That's another point. Maybe- maybe you don't necessarily had to nerf the weapon. Maybe you nerf its interaction with Magtheridon. Make it- dude, the fact that I top deck this on turn 4 every single game is insane. Uh, maybe you don't nerf the card. Maybe you just nerf, like, how it interacts with Magtheridon, right? Like, make it half as likely to discover that particular card. I can go for some card draw here, I guess. It's not the worst thing in the world. Um, rush and then be able to restore itself is maybe better than just a 3-3. Three, three. It's a little bit stickier on the board, so I'll go with that. So, you're right. Technically, the weapon might not have been the, like, only thing that needed to be nerfed, I guess. There are other things that they could have done. Like, the interaction with Megtheridon, make it less likely, make it not able to discover it. Just like they made you not able to discover legendary spells back when you were able to discover things. I don't know if that's still a rule. Uh, they might have. They might have just been for a little bit when like some quests and some of the legendary spells came out in Festival of Legends. I don't 100% remember, but they did remove it, which hurt in some ways. Or maybe it was three rune. I think it was three rune spells for Demon Hunter 
which also hurt the um, necrotic explosion. No, they did it because the school teacher, the Noggling could discover the three mana rogue legendary spell. So they just said, take all legendary spells out of the pool, which is ultimately what happened. I'll do that to draw an extra card. It's not bad. Frostbolt, it'll hit their face if able, and it means they can't draw a card, which is nice. This is no longer gonna be my leftmost card. I will then Molten Rune this to get more resources and do more damage. It's not, what the fuck? No, these are useless. These are actually the most useless cards I could have ever received in the history of Hearthstone. That's crazy. Nature Shaman's argu arguably better than Demon Hunter. I disagree kind of with that. I don't fully disagree. I actually do think that the deck is absurd. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even know how to play the deck, and my win rate with it was 16 and 7 yesterday. But... Turn 4, by the way. We've created a You're fucking kidding me. We've created a temporal anomaly. Top deck blizzard goes hard. Oh, we were so close. The day is yours. I mean, that was literally like the dream scenario for them though, that, that. The weapon is gonna stay good. Yeah, it'll be good now. I think the weapon is totally correct. I predicted it'll probably be still a top three card in the set before, or I predicted it would be a top three card before the set released. It's only gonna be more bust in the future. When even better demons released. That's actually the exact opposite of how it works. It gets worse and worse and worse as the pool gets diluted and more demons enter the pool because you're not able to constantly generate Magtheridon over and over and over again. It's it's actually the opposite. It would get worse as the expansions go on. Um, um I'll keep this, I guess. It's a two drop. It gives me another resource. I do like the void scripture, but I think it's a bit slow. I would rather try to find other good cards. This is a very good card. I like it. Window shopper gets worse, the weapon gets better. I mean Wait, what the hell? But like by because of that doesn't that just mean the weapon also gets worse because the whole reason it's good is because of window shopper like there would have to be some sort of really good demon that comes out that would make it better what mech are they going for by the way it could just play a counter spell here and play it safe because i don't know what minions they're going but they'll probably play a spell at some point but, interesting. Another shield block's fine. They're just gonna try to make it so I can't kill them, which makes sense. Let's play this again. I'll go explosive runes, basically, and just try to disrupt them as much as I possibly can. The weapon's not strong in sand without the shopper. No, yeah, the shopper is literally why it's good because they curve out so perfectly well together. It's kind of crazy. Uh, boom, boom, weapon. And then we're gonna coin out this for five next turn. And then it'll also give me a six, six, which is pretty good. They're forced to not make better demons than Window Shopper because of the weapon and Window Shopper. I agree with that. It limits the design space, yeah. That's one of the things that happens. When you print a card that is so ungodly strong that like you have to nerf other cards around it, it makes it significantly harder to 
then balance around it. Because all of a sudden, if you want to go down this demon archetype, and you want to do other things that reduce the cost of demons or pump demons. In the back of your head, you always have to think like, oh, what if they played the glove or get window shopper and something crazy happens? So, I mean, it kind of sucks, but it's just the way that it is. No, don't shield slam it. Well, because they shield slammed it, I think I'll just play Yogg in the box. Maybe it does something. I don't know. It'll give me a 5 drop at the very least from the weapon. I'll hit because it's more likely to kill my minion than pump it. Awesome. That's great. Oh shit. No! I also- oh my gosh, and they're all gonna die. Oh. That was almost really good. And then it wasn't. Okay, uh, boom. You're just choosing death? But why? You play Sanitize, you play Bladestorm, you play Brawl, you play Reno. Anything wipes this board. That's crazy. That's absurd that they just surrendered that. If Shopper is so busted, why would they be interested in making a stronger demon? Because they want to push a strong archetype. Celeste versus Anduin. The, the demon under weapon's already been nerfed by one mana. Are endless. Um, I like this. The other cards are a bit too slow or not good enough. Frostbolt's okay, but I don't think it's worth the keep. He could also just keep you- I mean, no, he can't keep me board locked because I can ping my own minion. Because they were all 1-1s. One Worst case scenario, I ping my own minion to kill it. And even though it kind of sucks, it's fine. Uh, you're kind of cool. And it's nature, so it's a spell school I don't even have. But this turn two is okay. Yeah, okay. Wow, look at me. I'm gonna play what? I'm gonna play- I'm gonna summon five dragons and then win the game. It's so awesome. Thoughts on the current set? It's the first set I haven't played since Lich King found extremely underwhelming. Uh, I agree. I think the set was extremely underwhelming and the more I play it, the less I like it. It's- it's- it's actually not very good at all. I also know of s several, like, creators that have also felt a little bit burnt out on the game recently. At least a little bit. I'll kill this because I don't want to take damage because they're going to try to kill me in one turn. Everything that they put out is very linear or a ridiculously uninteractive combo or just card in general. It's just not fun. It's just- it's just they need- uh, it was, in my opinion, a failure of an expansion. And I want to say that in like the nicest way, but it was not good. Simply put. We're going to coin this out on turn five. Summon a whole board of minions and hopefully that'll be enough. Uh, this gives them two bandages. Do I care about that? Because the coin doesn't trigger this, so I'm fine to frostbolt this. I just can't take damage. But I also don't want to frostbolt that and give him bandages to give him overheal procs. So I'm just going to play this, not play the thing, Mabob. We'll play counterspell. Um, and then I'll ping his face, I guess. Or I'll ping this. Actually, no. Again, I don't want that to die. But I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but like... Do you... What? But the whole meta, it's like Demon Hunter's broken, Aggro Hunter's broken, another combo Demon Hunter deck, a combo pa Priest deck that just says you can't play the game, Highlander Demon Hunter, which is just essentially this Demon Hunter deck, Wheel Warlock, which says you win the game in five turns, Highlander Warrior, which has always been super fun to play against. I don't know. Zilliax Rogue, which is just a fuck you deck that says I'm going to summon this Zilliax that just goes invisible and elusive. 
and then Plexi. I'm just gonna double his hero power, give him Wind Fury next turn, and win. Like, what the hell are you talking about? What on earth are you talking about? There's no way you thought that that was okay. Also, we got this, which is arguably better than Once Upon a Time, but I do want to develop a board right now, so we'll do that. This restores itself to full HP. Um, and we got a 6-6 six, six there. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just being cynical. Maybe I just played this game for a long time. And I'm having, an, I'm, I'm having fun playing the game in short doses. Don't get me wrong. I'm having a good time playing and streaming with you guys because I think that playing the game with you all is is fun and and having these conversations it's it's the whole reason why i still love playing hearthstone as much as i do but they need to do better with these expansions man goodness gracious um let me think here hit hit doesn't actually kill it i do want to play this and yet i don't want to play it because i want to get a six drop off of the cosmic keyboard but I think it's still worth it to play it. This one's a 4-4 four, four elusive, Much sure. No, I'll just play this. It's not the best, but I mean, it's nine mana cheat. Maybe we get something good. We do get something good, actually. We get two things that are good. That's potentially a lot of burst. Let's see what this gives me first. Poisonous? That means this refreshes, right? Because it killed it, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, sick, that's awesome. And then this goes face and we heal, which is honestly very, very good for me. Sure, uh, that's fine. But I don't know, like, priest is just summon some dragons, get an extra turn. That's not, it's not very fun or good. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, no. And then it would have to be the two core, yeah. I have to figure out a way to kill off this 310, and that's going to be hard. Not impossible, though. It's definitely doable, but it's rough. I would love for this to be like a control Highlander Priest and have my whole, like, idea of what I thought this deck was be thrown for a loop. I would love that. That would be awesome. I just don't think that that's the case. Uh, this doesn't lose any durability, so it's fine. Someone that gets me two spells. Uh, you're decently good, actually. Probably better than Frostbolt. I would like to hold on to the thing, and it gives me a 3-3. Three, three. So it's 1, 2, 3, and then we pass. We'll leave a 1-1, one, one. it doesn't really matter. Zarimi Priest is very strong, in my opinion. Oh, I agree. I I don't like it. Freedom is okay, sick. Possibly really cool. See, I'd be okay losing to this. Like, this would be fine to lose to because I'm playing in something different. I actually don't mind this at all. It's kind of cool. Uh, let's see here. How do I want to play this turn? Yikes. Okay. Um, I don't really want to go light bomb. But it gives me a six drop, which is not bad, and it kills off these two things. And it gives me a six six, which is again pretty good. Uh, just forge that. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I don't want to play it right now because I'll overdraw, but forging it's definitely fine. I think it's a pretty fun meta for newbies that like randomness or just really good aggro decks. It's just punishing for content creators or people who grind the game all day. I guess. I don't know. I just don't think any of the deck like archetypes or designs are fun. And I mean, it's, it's a subjective thing. And maybe it's just because I played with so much aggro already. And you're right. Wait, what? Oh, that's crazy that he got that from my hand. That's pretty sick. And like, yeah, I'm biased as a creator and I play this game more than most people to be fair. So people who wanna just play like one or two games a day, um, probably have more fun with aggro. Like I get that, I understand it. But I also just don't think that the decks or anything that was made is, is that fun personally. 
Uh, I'll get a seven drop off of this. Pretty good. And then Boulder Fist Ogre, best card in the game, no doubt. Uh, do I want to play Counterspell or do I want to just Frostbolt this minion? Mm, I'll play Counterspell. Could potentially throw him for a loop. I'm having fun with Reno Shaman. Oh, shit. Good lord. This is not good. Uh, we're gonna play this and hope for the best. Yeah, it's gonna die anyway. All right, uh, that's actually not bad. Well, shit. oh, honestly, that's no. Ah, oh, I, oh, that's always the worst when that happens, man. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Honestly, it could be worse. It could be a lot worse. It could be a lot worse. It could be a lot worse. Now we just need to remove the board. This card's I useless. Goodness gracious. Oh God. <laughs> Okay, no, we can win this. We can win this. We can win this. We just need to survive several turns without any healing and very little armor gain. But it's doable for sure, I believe. You win? I mean, it's likely, but again, I don't 100% know it's in their deck. But I would say that it's likely that I win. Starting also, does tw what does Twisting Nether say? Somebody said Twisting Nether gets rid of locations now. Let's give you some extra time. Oh, right, they summoned five dragons so they just get an extra turn. Of course, I forgot about that. My bad. No, oops, that's that's my bad. I forgot they just like get an extra turn for playing the game as normal. Kind of weird. Kind of weird that they just get an extra turn for existing, but okay, no problem. Boom, boom. What do you do? Discover a Nog if you played a Nog. What do you do? Silence all friendly minions. Give them plus one. Okay, so those are both fucking useless. Well, that's the opposite of useless. That's very good for me, actually. Uh, I should have discovered a Naga first in case I play spells, so let's do that now. Uh, Zola would have been very good. Um, could Zola still be good? It's a friendly minion. The answer is probably no. But maybe this minion ends up living and we can Zola that, I guess? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Oh, we have to survive a couple more turns. Awesome. It's all friendly minions. That has poisonous, which sucks. It also has elusive, which sucks. Uh, sure. That's so dumb. All right, I need to survive one more turn. Can I do it? I don't know. I can fireball one of his other minions. I probably shouldn't have fireballed that first minion. Uh, that kind of sucks, actually. It's not ice barrier. It's counterspell and explosive runes, which is not bad. This is your time. It is 
So he gets explosive runes. Hits his own minion, which is actually really good for me. Okay, hold on. So we know that's explosive runes. All right, sure. I counterspell his thing with Bob, which is pretty sick. All right. Kill his force. Actually, it doesn't even matter if we kill it. It actually doesn't matter because it has reborn anyway. That is quite solid. All right, we just need to survive one more turn. Why not hit the one two? What do you mean why not hit the one two? I have to hit this one five because if he plays Reno and he gets double activations of all of his spells, I just lose. Shadow step? Oh, I wish it had hit this. Okay, I win. Sick. Holy shit, we did it. No, you don't even let me do the animation, you jerk. It couldn't hit Silly X. Oh, that's true. Because of Shadow Step. No, you're right. It could have hit the 4 6, though. Eh, I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, they wouldn't have traded, right? There's no reason for them to ever trade. Unless it has Divine Shield Taunt, in which case it did, but. Celeste versus the Thunder King! The possibilities are you know, endless. I will say I do actually genuinely think one of the best decks in the game is Nature Shaman. I do 100% believe this. Like, it's just so good. Again, I'm somebody who does not know how to play the deck at all, and I'm 16 and 7 with it. I'm keeping this in my hand because if they play the um the totem, the zero two, they coin it out, I get to kill it immediately. Oh, well, that's not the totem, but it's the same basic concept, except no armor. But you you get the point. It, I I stand by my statement. Why is Zcore on counter? Uh, is there a card that ends the game in four turns? Yeah. The Wheel of Death, as many call it. I'm gonna go for counter, hopefully we got counter. Explosive Runes is also very good, but we gotta go with counter spell. We're not gonna play it though, because we wanna play it the turn he plays Flash of Lightning to potentially stop one big spell, and if we can delay him by one, uh, we could just win the game off of it. No, uh, we just hit it and ping it actually. It's not the end of the world. Do I ever just play this because I still have enough mana to ping anyway? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll see what we get. Heat wave or infinitize? I'll take infinitize. Kill it. Pass. No problem. Ugh. When they play flash, we play counter. And I mean, they can still probably play around it in some way, but... We're hoping that they can't. Heat wave was also good, I'll admit. Let's see, we have four mana left. Mm, flame geyser would just kill off both of the things. Yeah, I'll take flame geyser. Uh, it doesn't look like we're actually gonna play manufacturing air, which makes me very sad. But this is fine. Ice Barrier, they're never gonna hit me. I mean, I guess they could play the weapon and it's fine. And it's still mind games. No, we can play multiple secrets. It'll be mind games for them. They'll they'll have to play around it. It'll be good. Rune would also have killed both. Yeah, but it would have... I wanted to empty my hand. Okay, so they're doing that. We're gonna play Counter Spell and then we're gonna play Ice Barrier next turn. Wisdom doesn't really do anything.
If this gets me another hidden objects, I think that would be optimal here. Because then we can maybe find explosive rooms. We don't. Well, secret and then another one, two. This hits here, this goes face. But most likely I die this turn. Artifacts window shopper, don't be class specific. Make it any demon in the game. But because of how discover works, it's always been that way. The storm is in me. The storm is in me. Does he still have enough to kill me though? I would assume that he does after that. He didn't play Fizz Fizzle, so there's a chance that I'm able to kill off at least one of his three twos, if not both. And then he's just not able to really do much of anything. I mean, I still take a lot of damage here, but I don't think that it's 30. Okay. Sure. Uh, okay. I could just kill off both of them with these two, which honestly isn't that bad. I would like to try to discover for like a heat wave and if I hit it, that would be nuts, but let's see what card we get first. We just kill off both of these and kill off that. It's not great, but it's what we have to do at the end of the day. Genuinely, we just have to do that because if he has extra spell damage on the board, I could die to like a top deck lightning bolt or something. Yikes, but not that big of a deal. He doesn't trigger the ice barrier, actually pretty smart. I could go double spot the difference and see if I get something that generates me armor. Could also just go Yogg in the box. What could heal me with Yogg in the box? I don't think there's that much. Honestly, I don't think it's a Yogg in the box kind of turn. Hmm. Always Yogg? I don't think it's always Yogg here. Cause like if it plays Wheel of Death, and I burn my deck, I just die to fatigue. Like, he just kills me. But you know what? For content, fine. Fine. Stop, it's always Yogg in the box. Oh, shit. Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that's just awesome. Okay. Was that the correct play? I don't think so. He could pretty easily generate lethal here though. Like lightning bolt plus two uh, crash of thunders is just GG. What does this do again? It discovers me an epic or it gets me a random epic rare in common from other classes. Is there any spell that just straight gives me HP or armor? With infinite like just any mage spell that just gives me armor or something. No, buddy, stop, buddy, stop. If I had gotten explosive runes, actually, I don't think I would have won regardless. It doesn't really matter. Their deck was different than mine. They don't run the Cactus Caller, or whatever his name is, that draws a spell. They run Wand Maker, and then they also run the 1-2 Gold Digger. Which is, or Gold Panner. Which is really weird to me, I think. I don't, I don't know if I like that.
I wonder what his full deck was. So he has another one of those. So it's so I had eleven cards. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. What did he take out? Uh, I like this on turn two. The rest of these cards aren't great. Eh, this card's pretty decent to kill something off, I think. Void Scripture's apparently a good card to keep. I just don't know if I really want to keep it. No, we'll get rid of it. We'll keep both of these, though. This on turn four, will be, or turn three, we can coin it out after this, is really, really good. This deck misses the, oh yeah, the, um, the cold case. Yeah, this deck misses four mana for four armor and two, two, two skeletons with death rattle deal two damage. Yeah, if this deck had that, I would definitely run it over. Like, I don't even know if I want to run Wisdom of Narganon. I don't even think this card's good in the deck. Like, I'm very willing to take it out. I just don't know what to put in for it. But I think that this deck will get better as more good spells come out, because then you can take out some of the, like, mediocre ones and replace it with legitimately very good spells. So we'll see what happens. Patch notes. Demon Hunter's uh, weapon is up by one mana. That's wild. True. I think the weapon is the main issue with the deck, though. So the fact that they're nerfing that makes sense to me. Um... Okay, to be fair, I do have a lot of expensive cards. It's a little on the it's a little bit on the RNG side, but it could be sick. Could be nuts. What about Primordial Glyph? Oh, Primordial Glyph instead of Wisdom of Narganon would probably be better. The problem is I just already have a lot of two drops. No! Wait. Extraordinary. What? Did we both get a seven? Oh, I burned a Symphony of Sins. It just didn't like, did I miss it when I was looking at chat? That's crazy. <laughs> That's actually a huge burn. <laughs> RNGs is strikes again. But the nerf is, is the one card has been nerfed. Get that shitty card out of here. It was either star power or this for my five mana card and I don't really want either of them. Possibilities are endless. Hmm. I do like the weapon. It's decent tempo. Primordial Glyph isn't bad. It, d it generates me a card. Same with the um, Void Scripture, but I don't really want that. It's fine. I also think I could take out potentially the Discovery of Magic, but it has a lot of like really good plays. Oh my goodness gracious! This is insane. It's going to be turn two, turn three with the coin, turn four without the coin. This is quite honestly like the best tempo that I think this deck could possibly have. Unless they drop Rust Rat Viper right now and then I cry. But I don't think they'll do that. No. Oop. Do I think that they care about cheap cards? No, I'll just go for stats. Also, I kind of care about cheap cards. I have a lot of expensive cards. Fuck it, we're going for it again. All right, last time we got lucky and burned Symphony of Sins. What do we get this time, baby? I want Sif to be deleted from the game. Why? I don't think Sif's that big of a problem right now, to be honest. No. 
Yes! Huge. Oh, what? Oh, he just had another one. My bad. I was like, what the heck just happened? What? But no, he just had another one. Stack. That's my bad. Um, 4-4 four, four rush. Card draw or stats? I'll just go card draw. <laughs> Or I'll just go stats, sorry. Because I already have this for card draw, which means I low-key don't even want to play some of these. Look at these stats, baby! It's turn five! Four! Oh! Okay, you get to kill off two of the thing. That's fair. That's fine. This deck has the worst turn five. Also, if my hand is too full, I can't play this. If my hand is too full, I can't play this. I'll do that. It only gives me a 2-2, two -two, but we'll take, I think... Okay, explosive... He, he plays the Headless Horseman... What other things could he play on turn six if he's going... He's going a Rainbow Death Knight build. What card could he play? Um, the Primus is not a problem. Ma and Pa, this does not kill. This could play around Army of the Dead. So I guess I'll go Counterspell. And then forge this so I have more burst later. And just push damage here. But I do kind of want the burst. I don't know. Crop rotation gets countered. That's pretty big. And he just concedes, yeah. I guess the poisonous minion. I could have explosive ruined that. I don't know. I think counter spell was correct, but I don't know. Fireball to the face. Assert my dominance. Haven't played against a paladin yet. This is gonna be interesting. I don't like my hand though. Get this out of here. Absolutely not. None of these cards are good. Ew, 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 gross. My best win rate card is only kept 6% of the time and it's a 50% win rate. My best case scenario is a 50-50. Oh God. I will admit though, this on turn two and this on turn four is very, very good. I just need to find my Molten Rune to play on turn three. Or anything to play on turn three for that matter. Interesting, it's fair. I also think I wanna take out Blizzard and put in, I don't really know what else, but something else. Uh, the problem is, I don't exactly know. I mean, I would probably put in another Sunset Volley, but the problem is it is a very late game card. It is a very, very late game card. Hidden objects. So, I don't really want to play hidden objects. I really don't want to play hidden objects. Cause like, here's the thing. If I play hidden objects, I would rather get more stats out of this than less. How perplexing. I guess I just ping that, and I guess I could play Discovery of Magic, but I'll pass. I don't know. Getting a 2-2 feels bad. I should have I could have maybe just gotten a 1-1. One, one. It was probably better to just get a 1-1. One, one. Maybe I was being too greedy. I don't know. I think that that's highly likely that I was being too greedy. I too tend to be greedy sometimes. Current meta feels so frustrating compared to other trading card games, especially in Legend. The line of play I choose to take only somewhat seems to affect the outcome of the game. I agree. I was just talking earlier about how I'm not a fan of the... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. If either one of these hits this, I'm ha I'm so happy. If either one... If this hits either one of these two, I'm so happy. Um, 
But yeah, I was just talking about earlier. I don't want to go into the whole rant again, but I, I feel very frustrated with this meta as well. I don't think that the expansion was very good. Again, that's my own personal opinion. Other people are, are, are entitled to their own opinion. They could like the meta as well. But I just, I'm not a fan of the direction that the game went. I don't like the fact that a lot every class got a one mana one one that could potentially combo with things. I don't like how strong several classes already were. For example, like Demon Hunter and Hunter or and Paladin just right off the bat were already so good. It was unreal. No, you're kidding me. Luckily this is free, so it no longer triggers this. Hmm. So this is interesting. I just don't think that it's good. But like for the memes, no, it's gotta be cold feet. I could just like shut them down for a turn. Gives me a two, two, potentially slows them down dramatically and then I'll just play the manufacturing next turn. I don't know. Another thing that basically tells me that the expansion was not particularly successful is the fact that my viewership did not go up at all. Um, and you could say like, oh, it's because you're falling off, but like even with every single expansion that has ever happened, <laughs> there has been a slight spike in viewership around the time the expansion happened. And I was talking with some other creators and that spike was a lot less than previous years as well. Okay, this is fine. We get a six, we'll kill up the one one so we can't like pump it or anything and then we'll pass. I don't know. It's it's interesting. I don't know exactly what'll happen. Maybe the mini set will be good. Maybe the next expansion will be good. Oh, they're playing that to get rid of a 6-6, six, six, which I don't think is that big of a deal. Oh, you're Highlander. Interesting. I've only played two spell schools. But getting that for free is still not bad. Getting that for free is not bad. I guess you could coin re- Holy shit. Okay, hold on. Flag on the play. Flag on the play. That's insane. <laughs> if this lives for a turn, I think I can just win next turn. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know when the mini set comes out. Every win condition is supported by N. And every deck is an engine deck. There's no real deck building genius because everything is forced by card design. I see your point. Demon, Demon Hunter. And I don't hate that. No! Is he a five mana card? He's five mana? I didn't know that. Do I want to just play this? I could potentially overdraw it, which would be lame, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Uh, okay. Well, I hope I don't lose my legendary spells. Fine, we'll kill this off. It's not a big deal. We'll keep the 1-1. One, one. I don't really care about that. Hopefully I don't overdraw too much, but I think it was overall good. All right. The Mirage is not bad. <clears throat> not Rush Poisonous. Taunt poisonous? I can deal with taunt poisonous. That's fine. No! That does nothing. My hand is full. Wait, that does nothing. My hand is full. And eh, losing Molten Rune sucks, but it's not that big of a deal. <clears throat> Pretty decent. <clears throat> this only gives me a 1-1, one, one, but like, it's still worth it in my opinion. Because I'm able to hit face for 10 damage, which is very, very good. Bonk, bonk. Uh, forge this. <clears throat> we have quite a bit of damage. I wish they would stop releasing packages. I think packages are good. I just don't think every class needs a ton of packages. Oh, wow. You're able to kill it. Uh, sick. 
fire frost shadow i can play i haven't played arcane i can play this and then this next turn honestly how much damage do i have 12. not enough to win by any means Uh, sure. We'll see what this gives me. Maybe it'll give me something. It'll give me another spell school, probably. Oh, um, tumbleweed seems okay. It gives me a 6-6. Six, six. Hold on. This gives me tier. And then I win the game. This gives me tier. And then I win the game. Right? Because I haven't summoned any other, like... We'll make it slightly more likely. And then we still have enough mana to play that and that, and it's just lethal. Because with this holy spell, it should be enough spell damage. I get I get it right. Sick! Dude, that Sif is so insane. <laughs> oh, wait. These are mage cards? I guess that makes sense, but I didn't anticipate that. Huh. But these are copies, so this wouldn't have summoned another 2-2, two, two, but that, yeah, okay, cool. Sif scammed that poor paladin, true. Five D plays. We played Jive Insect version of Nature Shaman. No, I don't think it's better. I think it's not as good. It's just too expensive of a card. Uh. Okay. Well, this is the only card that seems to be good when kept, and even then, it's not great. It's a thirty-four percent win rate. Oh God. Oh no. Uh, maybe I should have hard Mulligan more for the Cosmic Keyboard, and keeping Primordial Glyph was maybe meh. My opinion, card generation these days is kind of Omega lol. Oh my gosh, we got it. Hold on. We play this on two. This on three. This on five. Do I ever? I'll play this first and see what I get. Uh, Infinitize the Maxitude's pretty cool. It does mess up manufacturing error though, but whatever. You're so good, man. You're so good. I'm so talented. I'm the best player. I'm just the best player. I'm just the best. New YouTube sucks. Wait, what do you mean new YouTube sucks? What does that mean? Oh, so is the discover effect. In my opinion, it should affect only class cards, not the entire library. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh my gosh. Wait, this is so good. Uh, miniaturize it. I mean, maybe we generate more pirates, I guess. We'll see. I do like the snake, the sneaky snake. That card's pretty fun. I need to play the weapon. <laughs> Even if it's slightly suboptimal, I need to play the weapon. Because it's the only way that I can, like, really flood the board here. What do you think of the Wheel of Death deck? I think Wheel of Death Warlock is really good. I think it's a little bit hard to pilot sometimes when you're trying to decide, like, what you want to remove and what you want to, um, keep. But for the most part, it's, it's a pretty cool deck, I think. I actually, I hate it, but I don't really hate it. It's just kind of annoying. I need to play this, man. Oh, uh, but I guess I play a turn five instead, and I just play this for tempo. I probably win with this. Steady. Steady. And then more stats, baby. Okay. So more death rattles. So far, how many more bullets are loaded? Four bullets loaded, baby. Let's go. Why is nobody talking about how bad Demon Warlock is? Nemzi sucks. Should have taunt. I agree, Demon Warlock does suck. Major doo-doo. 
Um, but I think because Wheel Warlock turned out to be pretty good, it doesn't really matter because they have a playable archetype. And Sludge Warlock is still playable. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty well. Yikes. Why wouldn't you freeze the 4 6? I guess it could lose attack here. Damn. <laughs> I guess it did lose attack here. Goddamn. Um. I want to coin this out on turn 7. I don't think I'm able to play Manufacturing Error, which sucks. I think it's literally just this, and then we get a 3-drop. Uh, Frozen Solids. Or, Frozen Over is pretty interesting. I mean, this is going to do a lot of damage. At the end of your turn, load 2 bullets that deal 1 damage each. Fire them enemy. I mean, as long as he doesn't polymorph this thing, that's going to be sick. Huh? Oh. No. I really don't want to play manufacturing. Error. I can't really afford to play right now, so we'll just go fireball the face, ping this, and keep going face. I'll coin out Yogg in the box next turn. And hopefully it'll be enough. They can't really win the game with Sif until about turn 8 or 9, and they've only played a fire... Is this arcane or is this not? Okay, it is an arcane spell. They've played a fire and an arcane, which really is not that big of a deal yet. Get shit on. That was eight bullets for one card. Three mana, better than a fireball. This card is gonna define the meta, I'm telling you. Gattle Snake, I'm telling you right now. Critically underrated, it's about to be the best card in the game. Are you in pickles with Ron? Pickles with Ron or something? You stopped collabing with him. What? No, I'm not. I am not in pickles with what does that even mean? I think I'd rather attack with my 4-3 first. Oh, okay. well, never mind. Hmm. Could be blizzard, coin, ping, hit face for four, and then save the Yogg in the box. I think that's fine. I don't know. Yogg in the Box is too risky. I'd rather just take the really good certain play. And again, they've only played like three spell schools at this point. They played, oh, I guess they played Holy. So they played three. Oh my God. Such a cringe card, man. Mage is the new warrior. It's actually, this card's pretty cool though. All things considered. I think this card's surprisingly pretty good. Burn Sif! Burn Sif! Burn Sif! Oh no. I lost my Void Scripture, didn't I? Wait, I win ties? Or did neither- Oh, I guess maybe neither of us burnt a card. Plus a frost. Oh. Much to ponder. I'm trying to think here. Both these are already frozen, so Blizzard didn't really do anything anyway. If I play this, I could just lose to Sif. I want to play this plus counter spell, but if I do, I can't really play anything else this turn, which really sucks. Much to ponder. Fuck it, we'll let we'll let him take the wheel. Oh you kill my minions! Uh. I'm gonna overdraw. Oh no! Oh I hate you so much, game. You're I despise you. I died a Sif. Wait, what do you do? First time you gain armor, it could be Sif. Oh, it's not Sif. Okay. So if I can survive, 
Dude, I have two of these in my hand. They're so fucking useless. Sure, okay. All right. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> He's gaining armor. He's going crazy. All right. Any problem? Sure. Sure, sure, sure thing, buddy. Okay, fine. Okay, we can chill. We can relax. Relax. It's counter. Oh, uh, it's counter. It's always counter, man. It's always counter. Life steal's not bad. What am I looking for? What am I looking for? A counter or a actually, let's see what I get offered. I think it's explosive runes. I'm pretty sure it's fucking explosive runes to kill Sif because she'll have six HP. Oh God, man. Oh, I'm losing my fucking mind. All right, okay, what do I get? What do I get? What do I get? If I play, no. If I play this, I just lose because it'll draw me a bajillion cards. Oh no. Oh no. Yogg took the wheel for sure, I know. Oh, it's okay. No, this is fine. Sure, okay, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Oh. Don't be counter. Holy shit, it wasn't counter. Okay. Infinitize, we're gonna look for some sort of secret to protect me. Oh my god. Uh, sh Blizzard again to stall, I guess, if he summons a board of minions. It's not the worst. Look, I just need to live one more turn, man. No, I need to live two more turns. I don't know why I said one. It literally just showed a two. Oh. Do I just play the galaxy card? Do I just play the galaxy card and say, fuck it, just go. Just go for it. Oh my gosh, he's drawing so many cards, man. He overdraws a card, though. What? Oh, because he can have 11 cards in his hand. Okay, I just need Sif to be literally the bottom card of his deck. I just need Sif to be literally the bottom card of his deck. Oh, and he generates a minion to bait out the other thing. No! No! There's a real nail biter. But I think I actually have to play this or I'm gonna die next turn anyway. So I'm not dead. So let's take that into account. I'm not dead. Oh, wait, that's not that good actually. And then it all comes down to this. What do you do? Heal me, do something. Okay, it's decent. Sure. Nothing. Give me a secret. Give me. Ah! No! Okay. Fuck! Oh, I need to be above 8 HP. Oh, goodness gracious.
Well, I've got snake oil to bait out a- Fuck! Oh, if I had just gotten explosive runes! Oh my god, I had him! I fucking had him! Oh my god, it was GG, man. It was GG. It was G fucking G. Oh. I had him, I had him, I had the game. I had him. I had him. I had him, man. Fuck. Celeste versus Raw. Abilities are endless. It was a uh, sixty percent chance to win. Um, I like Infinitize the Magnitude on turn two. I don't like Fireball though. Decent card to have to kill off his totem right away. It's it's a pretty good card. I'm pissed that I lost that last game, though. I lost a 60% chance, which, I mean, obviously isn't a guarantee. I, I'm going to lose 40% of the time there, but definitely is still frustrating when it happens. Solves any problem. Let me think. How do I want to play this out? Do I want to kill the 2-2 uh, the two -two? or just play this? I'm going to just play that. I'm fine taking two damage. Hidden objects, very, very good. Potentially can outplay him. I can play things like explosive runes and I can play counterspell to try to delay his really big turn. Uh, I would rather kill the zero two that draws some cards here, by the way. Although I don't love taking damage every turn. Uh, boop. Yeah, sure. I play this on turn four and then this, this turn five. The game really didn't want you to win. True, dude. I'm so mad. I was so close. Now, hold on. Excuse me. <laughs> Sir. You're going tentacle? Tendril, I mean. Tendril shaman. All right. So I fell in love with this card uh, a couple games ago. So I'm just going to take it. Uh, and then... Yeah, we'll go with Rush. I would like to go with the draw card, but unfortunately, I don't think it's correct. Please send me the deck code. Yeah. Boop. Next turn is probably this plus, again, Infinitize the Maxitude. We're just getting as much value from it as we possibly can here. So I thought that this was going to be Nature Shaman, but this matchup is, I think, a little bit better for me. I can't really make him overdraw, unfortunately, but that's what I want to make him happen. Uh, we'll do this. This is a very good card to have in this deck. After my hero attacks, that's pretty useless. So we'll take the 4-3. Uh, we'll go bonk plus bonk, and then we'll go infinitize. Infinitize. More secrets are still good, I guess. I don't know. The more secrets I make him play around, the better, I guess. Like, I don't think it's bad. Spell Mage has no good early defense against aggro and no real counterplay against OTK decks, and it lacks armor. Yeah. I think that this deck needs better cards. I genuinely just think it needs better cards. It's not like the deck itself is bad. I think it has some decent potential. But... With how strong a lot of things are, it is kind of hard sometimes to pull off. Ah, yeah, well. A two? You're kidding me. You can excavate? I'm getting trolled. Draw two cards. Arcane Intellect. Make him overdraw. All right. That's not great. I can just play Blizzard. No, Blizzard doesn't really do anything, though.
I want to take the box, but Heat Wave is so good. <sighs> uh, I know for the content, people want me to take the box. So I'll take the box. I'll conform. I'll do what you guys want, or what you probably want. Uh, I could have done that, but I kind of don't want to. The reason why I kind of don't want to is because I don't want it to fill my hand too much. I want to play Yogg in the box, and if I get something that draws me cards, it'll be fine. No! Wait. Yeah! It's always box. Look, man. Heat Wave was so good, but I know everybody in chat's always like, take the box. So I took the box. And I just hope it doesn't backfire on me like it does sometimes. All right. The box has never failed me before. That's a very big lie, but. Send it. Go, Yogg! I'm gonna close my eyes and unplug my earplugs. I'm just gonna look in about, uh, let's say 15 to 20 seconds, and I'm just gonna look in shock at whatever happens to the board. Uh, it's been about 10. The, the animations are probably almost over at this point. I'm going to look right now. Oh, That's shit. Amazing. Well, that went really well. <laughs> and I'm at 10 mana, what the fuck? Holy shit! <laughs> and I can heal. Actually, this does actually nothing. My mechs cost le Okay. That was incredible! Yogg, the box has never failed me before. You know what? I take it all back. The box has never failed me before. Also... Okay, that's that was, that was neat. Bro's gonna play the lottery now. I think I've used up all of my luck. Uh... <laughs> Is there a way to remove plagues this expansion like a steam cleaner thing? No, which is very frustrating and I hope they come out with one in the mini set and I would assume that they will, right? Because you can't just leave a, a, a card that gives you literally infinite value. You can't have no way to counterplay it. All right. I'm thinking. You win this one. All right, well, you know what? The game was mostly over anyway. Wheel of Death technically deletes plagues. Okay, you're right. But then they just put plagues back into your deck afterwards and then you're guaranteed to draw them and it feels really bad. So this deck has very little defense for an extremely aggressive deck such as this. Uh, I think I still keep infinitize the max. Mulligan win rate is 13%. Oh God. And it's not the worst card? Oh no. So we just have to hope they don't have the weapon on curve. If they somehow by some miracle don't have the weapon on turn two or turn three, We've got hope. And that's not a lot, but hope is something. My blood boils for war. It's not great. It's not good. It's not good at all. Ah, we could try to play around that as like a potentially big turn six play because I have a shadow, I have a fire. Oh no, this is a disaster. Oh gosh, thank you so much for the follow to Danonina. Danonina? I appreciate it. Goodness gracious. It's an awful Dune Hunter portrait. I don't disagree. Hello there. How's it going? 
I too live on hopium. Uh, please. Oh, it doesn't look like he has it. That's nice. I'll probably fireball this in a turn. Oh my god. Dude, chill. Actually, hold on. My guy. Relax. Relax, my friend. I can't go for infinite value on this, by the way. I have to just play Molten Rune. Never mind. We just play Molten Rune on this to get rid of the damage and hope we get something really good. That is not bad. Let me tell you right now, this is a playable card. That is playable. I, I don't know. I wish there was a spell that gave mage armor. Obviously, they have ice barrier, but just like the... Oh, why, man? We'll put out some monkeys, I guess. Oh my gosh, dude. Uh, yeah, let's just make a four mana card that's a 10 7 on turn four. Remember Chillwind Yeti? Yeah, fuck that card. We're gonna make it literally twice as. It's a 27 on turn five, man. Why is that allowed? Awesome. No, awesome. Awesome. No, this should, this should definitely have seven HP for a four mana card. Basically unkillable to everything. Fuck off. Like the four mana breakpoint is six HP. That card needs to have six fucking HP. That's fun and interactive. No, that's great. No, 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 no. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. Celeste versus Rexa. The possibilities are endless. It's just not, I don't, I don't even want to play after that, man. Like, that's just not fun. Like, that's just not fun. Like, I don't even want to play the game after that just happened. Like, what the fuck is the point if you're able to summon a 27 on turn 5 and literally kill me? Just have removal, lol. True. 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 It's not like I was holding Fireball for the off chance of me having to kill a 6-5 because I thought he would summon a 6-5 demon. Uh, but unfortunately, 6 damage is enough to kill uh, that 4-mana card. The 4-mana, again, 27. Uh, so should probably be a 4-mana 21, but what do I know? Let's just, let's just give it the ability to double attack every single turn. We'll generate some resources. I mean, the finale's not bad. I don't generally have many three drops. Just discover hex with discovery magic. True. My bad. I'll remember. I'll remember to hit hex next time. What's also not fun is warrior stalling out the whole game and then blowing up your hand with uh, and then winning in fatigue. Very fun interactive. I just yeah. I just don't think the game is as interactive as it used to be. Quickly. Even, like, the old combo and fatigue decks of the past needed you to, like, survive for a while, draw a lot of cards, make it to turn, like, 10, 11, 12, whatever. And fatigue admittedly did take quite a long time, but it felt like it was a super late win condition that, like, you could theoretically get to before you were to die. But now it just doesn't feel that way. Now it's just like, well, shit. Frostbolt to kill this off, I guess. Just limit the damage as much as possible. We got Flame Geyser to kill the 2-2 two, two next turn. And then we can ping the 1-1, one, one, so it's fine. But I just feel like board matters less and less. 
either you generate a massive board out of nowhere and then you like take an extra turn or something because that exists in hearthstone uh or board doesn't matter and you otk or you just armor out the wazoo Like, I don't even want to play the game after that Demon Hunter game. That's just... And it wasn't even using the weapon. He, that's just a, that's just something that you any class can do. No one's going to believe this. I don't believe it. I don't even... Boom plus boom... It's decent. Could be actually decent, actually. I can play this into Infinitize and then this something else. Just try to stall. No quitting, sir. You're getting me through the workday? I mean, I was only going to stream for two hours anyway, and I've gone past that time regardless, but like... God. Just one of those games where... Literally zero agency on what happened. And that sucks. Mysterious. Infinitize, let's see what we get. It'll be finaled, which is nice. I don't even know or care what the secrets are. You know what? I'll be just as surprised as you. We'll take Blizzard, though. No reason to really hit. I'm going to be surprised too, you know? I'm not even going to look at what secrets I got. We'll just see what happens. It'll be a... I don't believe it. Ecore 2024, true. Ah, oh, man. It was none of the good ones. It's so hard to have fun in this game, man. It's so hard to have fun with this game. Like...
<laughs> Another tower down. Red Aviona Dragon Druid. No, but I don't think I've seen any decks for it. And if I haven't seen like a single deck for it, that usually means it's not very good. Oh, I understand. So you draw through a bunch of your decks, you have the Playhouse Giant, and then you also have the Dragon Golem as like an extra win condition. Oh no, I did try to play this deck, and it went horribly. I see Much top Wait, do I want to play this? Instead of that. Because it does a damage. No, we'll just, ge we'll just generate more cards. Cards can't cost less than two. Yeah, fuck it, why not? It hurts him more than it hurts me right now. I tried this deck. It was not good at all. Damn, that guy really didn't want to have to deal with that. That guy really had his combo fucked. Yeah, let's go, Primordial Glyph! That's not great, we'll take damage. Light shows may be okay. It's not great, but it'll be fine. A zero mana A8 is nothing in this meta. Dude, that's so true. It's so fucked. A zero mana 8-8 eight, eight isn't good enough in today's meta. That's just so f I probably should have just played the Firelands portal. I kind of autopiloted there. I don't think they need to nerf cards faster. Because if they nerf cards too fast, do you realize that people do spend money on the game in order to get like the cards that they want and everything? So, if you nerf cards extremely quickly, people who spent $20 or whatever to build a deck have their deck nerfed to the point where it's unplayable, and that does not feel good for them. It doesn't at all, and they're going to lose more players than, le like, delaying the nerf and having people deal with it because they'll probably lose less players that way. Ugh. It's just so shite. Ice barrier? No, not ice barrier. Interesting. Did not expect that. You've got two weeks to nerf any card and don't come with an idea that it's just to see how the card will do no matter. Everyone knew the warlock snake was a problem and they didn't even care. Fun fact with the warlock snake, I don't think it was a problem. It was very strong on release, but other decks actually started to outpace it as you got further into the um like theory crafting and after a couple of days of the expansion it got pretty heavily outpaced pretty much immediately uh i need to play explosive runes because they don't have that or a mini <sighs> actually i don't think i needed a blizzard that that was kind of a waste I could have maybe tried to go for a counter spell or something here. It's fine. I will not weather away so easily. Like my dream for Hearthstone, my my just overarching dream 
for the game is that the game gets completely just power crept but like the other direction power fallen where they basically just say okay here's what we're gonna do pretty much every single card in the game pretty much every single card in the game we are going to reduce the power level of it we are going to reduce the power level of it dramatically okay we are going to make it go from something very 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 strong and we are going to make everything cost one mana more we're just gonna make everything cost one mana more that's just what we're gonna do i think that would solve a lot of the issues with the game <laughs> genuinely just making everything cost one mana would i think just solve all of the issues that i have with the game Yeah, snake nerf was maybe good. Maybe making it... Man, the snake nerf was kind of impactful. Or the, was kind of necessary. But there were decks that were just outright beating it, though. These both summon six sevens that will then hit their face. And just for good measure, we'll do that too. All right, boom, boom. Like, just completely change the way that they see. Just completely change the way that they view power level in the game. Nerf everything by one mana. Give everybody like a 10,000 to 15,000 dust refund on all of their cards. So that way people who built like an aggro deck can reset. Um... And then let people build new decks with the dust that they were just given. Possibly even more dust. Just to, like, that's what I was, I mean, it was my, it was my pipe dream. But that was, that was the hope. Um. That was my hope. Is that, like, with the 10 year anniversary. I was desperately, desperately hoping that they would just do that. Then games like Marvel Snap made them nervous, so they make the game fast to make it better and more popular, but it doesn't. Like, there's a thing in, uh, like, business where you spread yourself way, way, way too far and too thin and i think blizzard is a prime example of like why that can obviously fuck up your entire company and all of the products that come out of it because like even if you just think about something like diablo right i didn't buy i haven't played it but literally diablo immortal and diablo 4 came out within a year of each other and neither of them were that good from my understanding diablo 4 was pretty solid right and diablo immortal was extremely pay to win but was a decent game from what i heard but if they just said fuck it let's just focus on one thing would have been better 
Hearthstone, tons of different game modes, and then they came out with, like you said, a pay-to-win mobile game that is honestly, Warcraft Rumble, not very fun. I don't know how many people actually have played it. Uh, I played it for like 15 minutes and was like, this is just way, 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 way worse Clash Royale. Like, why would I ever play this over Clash Royale ever? It's just not a good product. And the same thing goes for a lot of the other things. Like, they're, they they have, or there was a time when there was a survival game that was in development. And I mean, like, I do think they have to try new things. But, like, I don't know. They're just trying, like, look at Riot Games and League of Legends, right? Like, they focused on one game and one game alone for 14 years. Turned it into arguably the biggest game on the planet except for like roblox and minecraft and maybe gta um and then branched out and even then like the games they branched out to they do it fairly slowly they don't like pump them out like they're candy and then all of them kind of suck they're all just pretty good but i don't know i'm i'm god i hate this meta I hate most of the decisions that they've made with Hearthstone. And then, nothing against this, by the way. Nothing against this. Um, but it's just a big slap in the face when, like, you see an announcement like this, and you're like, first of all, how the fuck is Roran not on here? Unless he was invited and not taken. But, like, doesn't play Hearthstone anymore. Doesn't play Hearthstone anymore. Doesn't play Hearthstone anymore. Doesn't play Hearthstone anymore. Never really played Hearthstone. Like, only, like, it's a slap in the face to people who, like, I've been playing Hearthstone for six years. I haven't dropped it. Yeah, it's not Battlegrounds, but I'm sure there are other Battlegrounds people who would have liked to have been on here. And yet, they're not. And it's like how I wasn't in the theory crafting stream for like years where other people got invited way earlier than I did, even though I was bigger. They also made an amazing TV show with outstanding new animation style. Yeah, and they took their time with it. Like Arcane Season 2 has taken, I think, three years to come out and it'll come out later this year. Maybe, I think it was three years, maybe four, but I think it was three. And they're not cranking stuff out. They're like, we're going to make something good and we're going to put our resources into it instead of trying to make like a TV show, a movie, a game, another side TV show all at the same time. We're going to just make one really good fucking thing. Out of touch, uh, de yeah, I, I think the people, the higher ups are out of touch. I don't know. I don't know. Seeing this announcement also just, just stabbed me in the heart a little bit. I mean, nothing against any of these creators. I, these are all creators who are, for the most part, just bigger than me. And I, I get that. So I don't think necessarily I deserve to be on here. But looking and seeing several people who like, Marvel Snap, Marvel Snap, Marvel Snap, TFT, Hearthstone, Magic the Gathering, Battlegrounds. Like, I just, I don't get it. It just hurts. Like, why am I even playing this game and pumping all of my time into it when I have, like, a League of Legends channel that's literally doing better than this Hearthstone channel if I'm just, like, not even gonna get... I don't know. It's fine. It's whatever. I don't care. I like the game. I still enjoy the game. But this is what happens when I play the game for more than two hours, I guess, because we're at the uh, two hour and 30 minute mark and I'm tilted out of my mind. So whatever. Where is Kib Kibler? Where is Savich? Yeah, like OGs who really care about the game and play the game a lot. Like Kibler streams six hours of Hearthstone a day. And again, maybe some of these people were invited and they rejected it. Like Kibler, like Rarin, like Savich, all these people. It's possible. Like RDU, like everybody who plays Battlegrounds, although I'm not as in touch with that scene. It's possible. But like in my head, I don't think that's what happened. I don't know. It is a Battlegrounds event. It's a duo Battlegrounds event. 
Hearthstone duos is a battlegrounds thing. Which is also so funny to me that no actual Battlegrounds creators were invited except Slissa. That's just so fucking wild to me. That they push Battlegrounds exclusively. And they care so much more about Battlegrounds now than Standard. Which is fine, by the way. Like, Battlegrounds has popped off. And then their, like, actual duos game launch thing with the creators has one Battlegrounds player, three X standard players, one X Battlegrounds player, one current standard player, and then two people from, like, other games completely. God. If you can't tell, I'm a little bit butthurt. And again, nothing against the creators themselves. I'm, I'm happy for them to have the opportunity. Like it's, and I don't want to sound like spiteful to them. It's spiteful towards Blizzard. I also think they could have invited more people. They could have gone with 16 people and have two pods of eight and then had a finals, right? Like the two teams that did the best play in a finals. They get to invite more people, more people that actually play Hearthstone and Battlegrounds. Bada bing, bada boom. In three seconds, I just made a better event than Blizzard did. That's fucking crazy that I used my brain for a second. Like... Dog Dog still plays Battlegrounds. I think he does. I thought that he played TFT a bit, but if he still plays Battlegrounds, that too, obviously. So a potential long-running uh, top game, but they insist on ruining, running into the ground and insulting their loyal players. Pretty surprising, to be honest. I expect a few different game creators to try and um, broaden their audience, but this has no Battlegrounds players. It has one, maybe two, and one was an ex-Battlegrounds player. He still, I thought he played TFT, but maybe that was just at the beginning of the set. My bad. Also, what do you mean there's no point in showcasing Rorin? Every video Rorin makes gets like 100,000 views. At the very least, he makes a video on this and it will see more views than any of these other creators. 100%. Because people really care about Rorin. Like... I can guarantee you, I would I would like to like place a bet. And maybe, maybe I'm misreading it a little bit, but I can tell you right now that none of these people, if they make a video on this event, not a single one cracks 40K. Not a single one. Well, 50K, let's say 50K. But I, I highly doubt it. I guess because it's duos and they can see two faces at the same time, like Regis played with Dexter or whatever, and they're returning players that Hearthstone players haven't seen in a while, maybe they get a little bit more views than that and it gets like 80k, maybe. But like I I don't know. I'm I'm getting I'm getting upset right now. I don't know. It's just It's just weird to me. Is the Hearthstone community while well, there's no Hearthstone players that can come to Hearthstone? I mean, yeah, but, like, there should be some Hearthstone players. I don't know. I was playing No Spell Mage. Or No Minion Mage, not No Spell Mage. No Spell Mage sounds awful. Dope, Froden is back. Froden is back for this one event, and then he's not going to touch Hearthstone again. I can guarantee it, because his TFT content is going crazy, and he's very good at that game. And no, it's fine if that's how they go about it. But that's why I'm saying they should invite instead of eight people, they should invite two pe or two pods of eight, which is 16 people, so they can have some loyal Hearthstone Battlegrounds people, some new people or returning people who would bring in a new audience. So you have some, like me as a creator of Hearthstone or even just a player of Hearthstone, why would I want to watch this? Why would I want to watch any of these people play the game? Other than like Ties and maybe Slissa. I have no connection to any of these six people at all anymore. Because they've all left the game. Like I would probably watch Ties or Slissa play it for a bit. And then be like well that was cool. And then I'd leave. Like it goes both ways. They get new audience. But the Hearthstone people are like. I don't know. And maybe because I say things like this. Um. Maybe because I say things like this, this is why I'm not invited to events, but I don't assume that they actually watch me. 
And if they do, I would love for them to like reach out to me and explain to the, their thought process. But I guess I don't like deserve that or whatever. I'm just a creator for their game. They give me the platform to do the thing that I love, which is fine. But like, I don't know. I remember talking to people and being like, this expansion doesn't look great. Some of the decisions they're making don't look great. Very start of the year of the 10 year anniversary, they got rid of duels, which isn't like a big deal, but it's still a, a bit of a bummer. They could have chosen eight non Hearthstone created. Yeah, that would have been sick. You have eight non Hearthstone players and then each of them has a Hearthstone player. It's literally duos. So you have eight people from different games, eight Hearthstone players to like guide them through the process. That would have been sick. It would have been sick. There would have been like one person clueless, like a chicken with their head cut off and one person being like, okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna buy that two star unit because if you get that, you'll get a triple. And if you get a triple, it's all of a sudden going to be stronger on the board and it'll give you a golden copy, which will give you a three star unit, which is generally speaking better and you can build your comp around. Although, and the other person would be like, I don't even know what the heck you're talking, what, you ta what is a quill bore? Uh, wh where do you see Quillbore? I don't see anything at all. Like, it would be so fun. Not frustrating, just boring, and I don't even know why. That is it. That is actually 100... Like, I'm not frustrated with this. It's just like... Like I said, it wasn't fun. Like, when I look at the cards and I look at the decks, I'm like... Not very fun. Not very fun. Just pure aggro. Not very fun. Sharpshooter, Demon Hunter. Wow, it's crazy that this deck is once again near the top. That's insane to me. After it's been nerfed, I think, four times. That's crazy. Take an extra turn, Priest. That's fun. No. Uh, Highlander, Demon Hunter is just worst, worst shop, Demon Hunter. Uh, Wheel Warlock is just play wheel on turn seven if you play the Doomkin and then just win. Highlander Warrior is just armor, 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 and then your opponent rage quits. Sludge Warlock's kind of fun. It's an aggro deck, but you kind of destroy your deck, so there's, like, some nuance to it. I don't mind Sludge Warlock that much, especially after it was nerfed. Zilliax Rogue. Oh, don't even get me started on fucking Zilliax Rogue. Let's just, let's just give them stealth and elusive. Double their stats every turn. And then let's just magnetic... Um, let's just, let's just give it like Wind Fury or some shit, right? We'll just like wait two turns and then slap them in the face with Wind Fury and win the game. That'd be so crazy, right? That'd be so crazy. Rainbow Death Knight. I like Rainbow Death Knight. I feel like you have multiple different ways. I think that this is the most fun deck in the expansion right now. To be fair, this card does feel really, wait. Okay, this is a troll build. Uh, <laughs> To be fair, this build or this card right here does feel bad to play against sometimes a certain classes. It's not a perfect deck, um, but it feels like you have counterplay to basically everything. And if you're running a version with Dirty Rat, you could potentially play around combo. You can gain max HP to play around combo. You have a couple of big late game win conditions to play around control with like Helia and then Explosion. You can play around aggro with the with the with the Quartzite Crusher. I think this is the perfect deck. I would if it was if it was just up to me, I would just play this deck over and over and over again and not care about playing different decks for content. But eh. Oh yeah, when Warlock just gets 30-30 stats on the board on turn 6, and you're just like, fuck. No, yeah, I know he stopped playing. I think he also had a kid, and there were some things going on with that. He had a, he had a whole update video. Um, and like, sure, Rorin, or Regis is coming back, and but... Maybe I'm delusional, but I feel like if he's coming back, you should... Like, I mean, he can be invited to stuff, but he shouldn't be invited to stuff over somebody like Rorin, who literally changed the entire landscape of Hearthstone content all by himself. I don't know. It's just, this game just feels so... Uh... And again, it's not frustrating. It's just boring. This was not spell Sif Mage. This is just no minion mage, but I'm pretty sure I'm just done for the day. I'm I I'm just done.
Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm going to go stream League of Legends now, which somehow I find more fun than Hearthstone. <laughs> Warren isn't a Battlegrounds player, but neither are any of these fuckers, man. Not, not to... <laughs> But like Magic player, Standard player, Marvel Snap, Marvel Snap hasn't even like touched Battlegrounds. At least Nina's noob used to play Battlegrounds. Froden I think used to play at least some, but I think he was more Standard and a caster and plays TFT. Only like one actual Battlegrounds player. That doesn't matter apparently. But uh, I'm gonna get off, I'm gonna eat real quick, and then I'm gonna get back on in like 15 minutes or so to play League of Legends. So if you wanna tune back into the stream, you can. Uh, I, I guess I, yeah, and otherwise I'll just leave. Honestly, I guess I just, I can just end the YouTube. I'm gonna try something, actually. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna see if I can end this stream on YouTube without ending it on Twitch and just jump right into League of Legends so people who are interested don't have to wait. And then I can just eat afterwards if this works. You know it's a rough day when Lee feels good to play true. But I'll be I'll be I'll be on uh Lee, yeah. I just let me see if this works so goodbye YouTube for those of you who want to keep watching me you can go over to twitch there should be a twitch link in the description down there um I'm surprised still 130 people just listen to me rant about frustration with hearthstone for like 15 minutes that's pretty cool um uh, but yeah I will be hopping over goodbye YouTube stream pinching us for a side piece League of Legends isn't the side piece anymore. Over the course of the past couple of months, it has become Hearthstone is the side piece. <laughs> it's crazy. Like I have views on that channel with hundreds of thousands of views, and I don't, I've, I don't have a single Hearthstone video in nine years or six years of creating. Sorry, flip, flip the nine. I don't have a single video with over a hundred thousand views in Hearthstone. My, my, my most, my, my most viewed is my 15 guide or 15 um, tips on how to get better at Hearthstone. And it doesn't make it. Whereas my League of Legends channel has at least seven videos with over 100,000 views. And it has five shorts with half a million views. It's just the, the difference is insane. What's your League channel? Um, well, I'll be streaming on this, but it's a uh, League of Legends or L E Core LOL instead of E Core 100. I want it to be E Core 101 because it kind of looks like LOL, like because the one is the L and then zero and then L, but it didn't actually look as good as I was hoping it would look, so I just turn turned it to E Core LOL. But E Core 101 would have been sick. I'm at Twitch, not League. No, I'll still be streaming um, on YouTube. I'll just be streaming on my other channel on YouTube. But yeah, see you guys there.